And joining us now is Lucas, who is here to bravely share his story. His mom, Sherry, is also with us in the audience. And I, I have to applaud you, Lucas, because you know, you're, you're here today to finally get this out in the open. And what does it feel like now to, to be here on the stage talking about this? It's kind of an amazing feeling to be able to come out here and show that you can be strong no matter what is thrown at you, and you can inspire people and have a chance to show people that they should not be afraid to come out and be who they are. Well, and I guarantee you right now, any judgments that are happening are people judging you saying, my goodness, he has so much courage. Yeah, yeah. 100%. And people out there that may, may have whatever condition they're, they're ashamed of or uncomfortable with, you're giving them hope and hopefully going to promote them to find some help. That's what I wanted to do, you know, well, show people that they can go out and be themselves and not have to be ashamed for what they are because everybody has those things that they don't like about themselves, but you got to be proud of what you have and proud of who you are. Yeah. You're doing a very great job. Yeah. And having, having said that, I, I want to ask your mom, who I know is really proud of you, well, what it is like, though, to, to hear those words from your son saying, I felt like a burden. That was devastating. He has never been a burden. He's always been a blessing. He touches everybody. He's always touched everybody in a positive way. Never a and burden. It, and it's, uh, Lucas, it's obvious that you're a really good man. And I know you're also here for some answers because Lucas has already had 24 surgeries, but doctors stopped operating on him at the age of 10 so he could fully grow before moving forward. He hasn't been to a doctor since then. So we sent him to consult with facial plastic and reconstructive surgeon, Dr. Jonathan Cabin. One of the most important things to me being a plastic surgeon is connecting with patients struggling with malformations and trauma that has caused incredible both psychological and physical scarring in their life. This is pretty extensive. It's kind of affected some of the muscles and bones. When I first met Lucas, I needed some imaging. So I sent him to Mink Radiology. And I needed him to have both a CAT scan to evaluate the bones of the face and an MRI to evaluate the soft tissues. Okay, here we go. First one's gonna start in a moment. Very well done, sir. It's really uh, interesting to see what the scan showed. What did they show? It was really unbelievable to see how much this tumor had compressed and how many structures it involved. The soft tissue showed that this was sort of extending into the eye, the jaw, and also up into the bottom portion of the skull. It is around a lot of nerves which um, help control your face and make your face, uh, give your face sensation. Can I have you do a few things just to take a look at, at your functioning? Can I have you close your eyes really tight? Go ahead and, and release them. And then puff out your cheeks like this. Excellent, okay, good. Smile big for me. Great, and uh, relax, raise your eyebrows. It's all numb right there and everything. Okay. It's really taking over a huge portion of the right side of his face. Are there any other things that bother you on a day-to-day -day basis? It hurts every day, yeah. all day, and you know, leave and stuff like that. What Lucas has is a complex case. We know that it's some sort of tumor and that it's pushing on things around it that are important. It's a very rare and specialized problem. This is definitely a vascular malformation. Um, it's unclear what it is. And Dr. Cabin joins us now, and I just want to ask, on your exam, MRI, what was the biggest thing that you found? I think just the extent of this lesion. I mean, we see these every once in a while, and in this case in particular, it was just everywhere. It was behind the eye, up against the brain, attached to the muscles. And I think anyone, even if you don't read scans, you see the scan on the screen, you can see what it's doing. It's, it's pretty extensive.